Hello. On August 23rd, 2001, Capcom released Devil May Cry for the PlayStation 2. On March 8th, 2019, Capcom will release Devil May Cry 5 on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. What has sustained this series' popularity for 18 years? Is it the wise-cracking nature of the ninja turtleian pizza-loving protagonist? Is it his two silver guns? Is it his sword? Is it the color of his hair? Or is it that tantalizing 18-year question that despite being and existing as the explicit owner of permission to openly weep, the devil has yet to cry. Will the devil cry in Devil May Cry 5, also known as Devil May Cry, arriving March 8th, 2019? I don't heckin' know, man, but I'm Tim Rogers. You were watching Kotaku.com, and we're going to comb through these games one at a time. And uh, we're going to see if we can have some fun. This is Devil May Cry DMC, Devil May Cry Definitive Edition. Definitive May Credition. Press the menu button. Which one is that? Microsoft doesn't have the... I guess it's the one with the three lines. That's actually called the hamburger button in UI design. The one with the two little windows. That looks like the... I would call I would call that the win the, the the menu button. So I've actually never beaten this one. Has anyone in the chat beaten this one? I don't hate this one, and I remember when it first came out. Me being like uh Me being like uh Uh I wanna be the guy who likes this one. You know? I wanted to be the one who the guy who liked this game. And then I played it and it was thirty FPS and I was like, ah man. Cause I got it for free, you know. Because, uh, I'm going to admit, I haven't paid for a video game in like 20 years. I mean, I either get them directly from the publisher or I steal them. You know what I mean? I don't steal video games. Um, I played a bit of this one and I loved it. I mean, I had a good time and then I just, I fell off. Who knows? I'm going to be, uh, we're going to play it on Devil Hunter mode. We're not going to do it on Hardcore. Would you like to see tutorials? Yeah, sure. I just remember this one being big and silly, and I liked it. And I liked, uh, I did pay for Mario Odyssey. Yes, I paid for it on principle. It was on principle. I had to, because uh, I explained very explicitly that buying Super Mario Brothers 3 was like the first purchase I made as a kid. The first purchase of a video game I made that made me feel all grown up. So I had to pay for Mario Odyssey. Also, my Mario Odyssey is physical, not uh, not digital, even though I prefer everything digital these days. Yes, by close of trading. Oh, yeah. Is this the Kingpin from you know, you Marvel's Daredevil on Netflix? You know the terms, you know the consequences. Oh my god. I'm ready to like this game. I don't care. This is a direct one. Should you fail to comply, the collapse of the economy will be on your head. I'm Whoa! Sure Harley Quinn! Power, shamed, and hated. Is that clear enough for you? Oh, this game owns, dude. I don't care. Friday it is, then. You have a good night, Mr. President. Oh my god, this guy just has the president in his pocket. Sarah. Did you get it, my darling? My darling, she called him. Oh. Soon I will own everything worth owning. Never trust I a pair of people who call each other my darling. Debt. I have absolute power. The world is at last your bitch. <laughs> what's, what? what's the matter? <laughs> A loose end. A loose end? What? The son of the traitor Sparta. Traitor Sparta. Dante. Dante. Him. 
Okay. We're learning all about Dante. The hunters will find him. They found Sparta in his war. Hey, watch your language. I will rip open his chest with my bare hands mm -hmm. and feast on his beating heart. Sparta. Yeah, Sparta with the D, by the way. Okay, so Devil May Cry 3 uh, endeared itself heavily to the hardcore gamers of that time, being that it starts with you eating a pizza and, and uh, riding on a rocket. Oh my god. See, I'm ready to just 100% be like, I like this game, I don't care. Alex Garland, first of all, if you don't love Alex Garland, um, what are you doing in here? Right? Alex Goddarn Garland, who, uh, the secret is now officially out. He directed that Dread movie, even though he isn't credited as the director. He directed, uh, Annihilation. Number two movie of the year, 2018. He directed, uh, Ex Machina. He wrote, uh, Ninja Theory's Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Super underrated game. Wrote 28 Days Later. Alex Garland is just, he's a hes a real dude. And this game got hated on because, well, okay, no, I'm not even going to pretend to know exactly why this game got hated on. Uh... People didn't like the fact that Dante had black hair, and he had short hair, and then he had a good haircut <laughs> instead of a bad haircut, and it was long hair and white hair. They didn't like this, uh, what they considered to be an intrusion of Western culture. They didn't like the fact that it was 30 FPS. They didn't like the fact that it didn't have a fixed or at least authored camera angles. I think the haircut is fantastic. Someone in the chat is pointing out that Alex Garland also wrote Sunshine. Yeah, Sunshine's real good. Real good. And Ninja Theory also did uh, uh, Heckblade Senua's Sacrifice, yes. And Ninja, Ninja Theory is now owned... Oh, there's the pizza, of course. Guy loves pizza. He's Ninja, Ninja Turtleian, as I would say. Oh, somebody watched V for Vendetta yesterday, right here. The masked lunatic you saw there claimed to represent an organization called the Order. Man, his haircut's so good, man. Like, what the heck? Several serious attacks in recent weeks. If I weren't a slob, I would get a haircut like that. You know what I mean? Someone in the chat is saying this versus Bayonetta 1. Oh, come on. You don't compare this to Bayonetta 1. You compare this to... Uh, I don't know. What what can you compare this to? This is just dumb. It's it's If you can't appreciate good trash, you can't appreciate good art. This is great trash. What are you talking about? Who's on to me? The hunter demon. Even the voice acting is good. He's here. I remember when reviewers were given a copy of this game, apparently they were told... They, they were warned, like, super explicitly to not spoil the fact that his hair turns white in the final level. It's too late. You're gonna have to fight your way out. Oh, yeah, nothing like ripping up the amusement park to get me going. Bayonetta starts with a crumbling clock tower. Guy's got a good physique. Shit. Back in limbo. Bad day for a hangover. Bad day for a hangover, he says. Technically, doesn't a hangover make any day a bad day for a hangover? I'm not a drinker. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care, man. So the first Devil May Cry came out in 2000. Uh, the pizza covering up his wiener. That's pretty good. Puts on pants. Got dressed while his home is going to heck. 
Oh, this rules. Oh, that's a lesser Stygian. You don't need to worry about that one. He's, a, he's not as cool as the other ones. Is this game Xbox One X enhanced? Asked nobody in the chat. I'm playing it on a regular Xbox One. All right. I like the tutorial pop-up that just says kill. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to go into the options real quick. Uh, we're going to turn subtitles on so that we can criticize the dialogue. Oh, the hacker combo. We definitely want that. So that's actually a good combo to have. Oh my god, I've never played this game at 60 FPS. I love it. Okay, hold on. Oh, heck. Darn. Hey. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hold B to launch. Yeah, oh, man, I'm in the middle of something. Okay, hold on. The tutorials popped up just at, like, the wrong time. Oh, that's a dirty combo. When are they going to just let me fight? Man, just let me go, bro. It would not let me just own that guy. I really wish that... So here's one thing about me. Now that I have been using an Xbox One Elite controller for like four years... Um... I cannot deal with these bumpers anymore. So I'm using a regular controller. I'm using a scrub controller right now. And, uh, launching. Man, what do you want? You get that little pause in that combo there. Yeah, you're done, punk. I got a D. This is what it's like when worlds collide going on here, right? Oh yeah, I, I I jumped before the tutorial told me to jump. Yeah, so I don't like pressing the bumpers on not just the Xbox One controller, but the uh, the Elite has uh, conditioned me to just not like bumpers on any controller. They should be paddles. Every controller should have four paddles. When they announced the PlayStation 5, I'm just saying this, nobody better be surprised. Did I just seriously fall in there? You're not supposed to actually... Don't be surprised when the PlayStation 5 is announced and it's got paddles on there and they're just standard. Like, like, okay, this is kind of, this is kind of ridiculous. Okay. Ebony, Ivory, Mr. Girls. His guns are girls, because why not, uh, if you're gonna objectify something, why not give it a... Why not call it a girl, I guess, in a video game starring a dude like this guy? Come on. Target practice. Come right on, on, Capcom. Target practice? What do we got? Oh, I can press X to shoot? Yeah, I'm doing it, bro. So Dante's stone-cold devotion to just strutting and shooting... Guy has deltoids like cannonballs. Nothing, nothing can cause him to feel the recoil. Devil May Cry, as you may or may not know, has guns. But it's by no means all about guns. Just because you got them doesn't mean you got to use them. It's all about knocking a guy up into the air and then shooting him while he's in the air. Hey, punk. Oh, man, the camera is kind of bugging me. I just dirtied that guy. Do you want to die? Or do you want to stay alive? I got my combos. Okay, these guys with the bombs are really starting to get on my nerves. Hit me, bro. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me, bro. Come on. Heck oh. Oh, this guy only responds to getting shot at, I suppose. 
Oh! Someone in the chat says the font choice, the choice is a mess. Uh. Are you joking? That's the only font choices they could have made. It wasn't a choice. It was made for them. How come I can see you clearly? I'm a medium, a, a psychic. Yeah. I can phase into limbo and communicate with you. I can see you, talk to you, but I'm not actually in limbo with you. Why is she afraid of getting shot then? If I pull the trigger? I'll die. I'm risking my life here for you. I want to help. Shoot. I don't need your help. The hunter has dragged you into limbo. I can get you out. I've been down here before. I know how to get out. By whatever shit sucking demon dragged you in here. You don't want to fight the hunter. He's not your regular demon. Follow me now. All right. She said, "Follow me," and then I don't really. I'm not really sure where Where'd she, she go? went. Oh, see, even he doesn't really know where she went. Oh, look at this dumb thing. I'm gonna use a melee attack on this lost soul to free him. All right, he's done. Was oh, this my save point? Well, somebody didn't like their arcade game there. Oh, this rules, man. This game rules. I'm just gonna ground launch it. Man, I just do not like pressing those bumpers. For almost every game on the Xbox, I have a... Okay, okay. I have like an alternate profile for my Xbox One Elite controller and the bumpers are almost always on there. Oh, stop it. I got an upgrade point. That's great. I love having those. Okay. Yeah. I got another one. That's good. I'm going to shoot this guy in the nuts while he's uh, upside down about two feet from the ground. That's how you exercise the demon. Let's keep going. Hold A to jump higher. Yeah, I've known that since Super Mario Brothers, bro. Oh yeah, got a gold orb. You can purchase those from the item shop, by the way can't jump on top of the carousel. Oh, this game rules. Shall we buy some new items? Let's see. We can get some uh, vital stars. I only have 228 of the crystals, or whatever they are. Okay. Okay. Health cross, maximum health increase, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I don't need any of this stuff. Okay. Is that my coat? How did it get up there? Oh, he needs his coat in order to be fully, uh... Dante, but it's still not enough until his hair is really long and uh, and white and looks really bad. Sweet. His coat looks like it cost him like fourteen hundred dollars at Saks Fifth Avenue. Steve, 
I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm gonna chase this thing. Yeah, you got punched. Oh my god, I know to press the god darn LB to evade. I just, I keep twiddling my middle finger, expecting it to do something. Left my elite controller at home. I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, dad. Ooh. Oh, that was anarchic. What? Oh, there's more? That's a joke question. In Devil May Cry, the answer to the question, is there more, is always with you. Oh, this guy's a huge punk. Look at this hobgoblin looking. Hey! Get down here and fight! Yeah, I know how to evade, man. I'm gonna keep shooting this guy in the head. Oh yeah? Uh, I guess so. I just love how brazenly movie-esque his guns are. His guns that never need to reload. Like, see this? I would have, I would have had to. That would have been like three clips in real life. Oh shit! What? Was that a reference to Resident Evil? The dogs bursting through the window. This guy looks like he's not here to party, man. Somebody in the chat saying thinking about getting the Devil May Cry HD collection because you want a proper introduction to this genre. Um. If you want a really good introduction to this genre, I want to say play Bayonetta 1. I think Bayonetta 1 is an extremely good introduction to this particular genre. Though also, that HD collection is pretty sweet. Oh wait, get out of the way you dumb spiders. Though also DMC3 is real chill. Exit. Good. I personally would not play DMC 1 and 2 if you're just looking for an intro. Yeah, whatever. I like how bored he is by all these weird demons. He's just like, okay, man. Alright, monsters. Oops. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, these monsters are no match for my sword. Okay, that was easy. Oh, this is, uh, everybody remember this part in God of War? Where you get to go across these things on the ground? I mean, new God of War. Oh, I guess I was supposed to jump. You know what this game really needs is an air dash. That's a joke. So that's their joke about the wig falling on his head. And of course he hates it. Good joke. That won't work. Why not? He's bulletproof. Oh yeah, the demon is bulletproof. There's a rip up ahead. A what? We'll take you back to the real world. We'll come back for the hunter. 
You know what I don't like in games? I don't like double jumps. I don't like air dashes. I just personally don't like them. It's a personal preference. So, like, his double jump, it's like such an insignificant little extra thing. I mean, sure, the game uses it well. When you when you're using it in the with the rhythm of combat, it's chill. Wait, she's not actually saying that. Oh, oh, that whole subtitle. Hunters are brutal fighters. So am I. All right. You got him in the head. No, I can't hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Attack his face. Yeah, I know. He's got a big face. That's the point. Man, am I getting hit by this guy? All you gotta do is hit him in the face. I've been playing Final Fantasy 15 lately. Whoa, you feel it now, don't you? Yeah, you can't launch this guy. He's already launched. All right, champ. Oh, stop it. Man. Yeah, you done with that thing yet? All right, chump. Man, I keep getting hit by him. I'm sorry, everybody. This shouldn't be happening. I swear the first time I ever played this game, I beat this guy on my first life at 30 frames per second. Yeah. It's all about just getting him angry. And just disappointing him. Alright, that's good. Is that a savage combo? Do you like dying, huh? Do you enjoy dying? Where are you going, bro? Get back down here. Man, he's gonna kill me. Yeah, I am using my guns to shoot him down. I'm not a chump. I don't know, do you? If they feel pain, then they probably also cry, right? Oh, yeah. Who? He doesn't know his dad's name. Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the first. All right, that guy's just mean to his mom right at the end of his life. The last thing you can, you can, uh, the last thing he did with his dying energy was to insult somebody's mom. My mother. I barely remember her. Sparta? Oh, man. Now we get a little bit of the old, uh... A little bit of the old cutscene. Dante is just like chilling. So this game is cool because it imagines what if Dante was real, you know? What if he wasn't just a video game character? How do you know my name? My boss knows you. He wants to meet. First of all, don't don't ever call anybody your boss. I, you back there. I didn't ask for your help. Uh-huh. Is there somebody in the chat having a serious discussion about microtransactions? We know all about you, Dante. I'm with an organization. 
organization called The Order. An organization called The Order. There's never been one of those in a video game, huh? That's my boss. Wonderful. Can't wait. I love how Dante's just straight up not impressed by anything. He's good at shooting, swinging a sword, and being unimpressed. Further terrorist attacks could take place anywhere, anytime, and when you least expect them. That's the nature of terrorism, yes. We have your scent, son of Sparta. Now it is just a matter of time. Demon businessman. Man, his face, he's got like three huge weird cigarette burns in his forehead. Yeah, they're Batman begins the heck. Yeah, I got a D, bro. Just like gym class. Oh, I got two Ds, just like both semesters of gym class. Oh, I got a C for complete. That's good. Devil, devil, cry, devil is what my full score is. Three upgrade, upgrade orbs. That's definitely all you need. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, my friends are not ranked on this leaderboard because they suck. I really like this. Uh, this very true to the PlayStation 2 era. Uh, just 2D art in the background. I can equip alternate character and weapon skins. Oh no, you can be classic Dante. Shoot. <laughs> Dark Dante, Neo Dante. All right. I'm sorry. We're sticking with the. Uh, we're playing the game as though we're uh, playing it for the first time. All right, what do we got? Upgrades and items, abilities. Uh, ooh, I can double jump. I can enemy step in the air near an enemy. You can jump off an enemy. I don't. I don't want that yet. Okay. Well, I mean, do I? I, I guess I can get it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hacker level two, increased damage. Death coil level two. Yeah, I like death coil. Let's see how many orbs. Does this cost? I just uh, we get this aerial rate. I'm gonna just go ahead and increase my my boneheaded combo. Oh, I only have one orb left. And shoot level two. That's just gonna give me more damage. You know what? I'm gonna go for my uh, I'm gonna go for my wild stuff. I'm gonna go for it. I should have gotten Stinger, because I like Stinger. I still have one left. Um, we're going to go ahead. I got Stinger. I like Stinger. I remember this. Okay. Let's kill. Give me that mission, bro. Dante's upgrade is going to be respect. That's an interesting word to have down there. That's not normally how you spell respect. Oh, yeah. Just pull this weird Honda CRX or whatever it is in here. Welcome to the order. Not what I was expecting. That's the idea. The demons are amongst us, Dante. They are enslaving mankind. The world is asleep. Oh my god. That cool uh transforming morphing brick wall. We are a small handful of freedom fighters. We are the last and only line of defense. Small handful of freedom fighters, the last and only line of defense. I've heard these lines chance. before. Don't leave things to chance. On the demons and their collaborators. These or people are an entire thrift store full stars. of cliches here. I love it. We can hit them where it hurts. They're going to hit some pop stars where it hurts. I'd hit a pop tart where it hurts right about now, if you know what I mean. Shout me out in the comments with your uh, favorite pop tart. You know what? Frosted blueberry. Someone in the chat asked, when do you think we can expect Cyberpunk? I think we're going to expect a release date announcement at E3, and the game's going to come out this uh, fall. That's what I'm guessing. And I'm going to play it for about 300, 400 hours. Maybe 500. Is that Virgil? You don't remember me. No. No, I don't. You 
loser. Everybody How loves this childhood. Do you remember? Uh, not much. I had meningitis when I was seven. Why my memory? Why? <laughs> meningitis. They told me I had a car accident that resulted in total amnesia. Age, seven. Oh, they don't remember their childhoods. Your point? Meningitis is a human affliction. You are not human, Dante. All war is fought with deception, and you have been deceived. Your past has been hidden from you for a reason. They really rewind a bit. Who are you again? They really did Virgil. Batman Begins the heck out of this. Virgil, that's not how you spell Virgil. I'm sorry. Besides swords and bullets, you mean? Such weapons can win battles, but not the war. We use force, yes, but we also use intelligence, politics, propaganda. Now, by intelligence, does he mean like actually dent. being smart, or does he mean uh, make a dent? Information. Us working together, I believe that we can defeat them. So that's what this is about. You need me to fight the demons, help you save the world. Mm-hmm. What else were you planning on doing with your life? You guys do seem really nice, but uh. More of a loner type. Trust issues, work alone, that kind of thing. Well, he doesn't even need a psychiatrist. He just knows who he is. If you want to leave, turn your back on me. I'm powerless to stop you. But you'll be making a grave mistake. Grave, get Not it? Not just for yourself, but for mankind. For mankind? Yes. What makes you think I'd give a shit? What makes me think you don't? Please give me a chance to show you. Is what he should have responded with. Who you really are. And he's going to be like, okay. You know, I wasn't swayed by any of the other stuff, but once you offer to let me know who I really am, I figure, why not? Dante's Paradise. Shout me out in the comments if you've ever read, uh, you've read the full Divine Comedy. If you've read the whole thing. Don't lie, because I'll know. Who's read the whole thing? Someone else in the chat, look up, answer Kyle Ferson's question. Is that voice, behind, is that the voice of the apprentice in the Force Unleashed? I need to know that as well. Because I just referenced Force Unleashed very recently. Own? I don't remember it. You will. Cat, open the gateway. Because I have read all of the Divine Comedy. I've read the whole thing. And I've read it in Italian as well as in English. What are you doing? And I can tell you. Our world and limbo are very closely superpositioned. It's it's they some nonsense. What I mean, it kind of rules. Reading the Divine Here, Comedy in 2019 is like listening to limbo. the latest hot hip hop record. 600 years from now is basically what it's like. Doesn't smell too good. I don't mean that as an insult or anything. A compound I created based on an old Wiccan recipe: sea salt, shark oil, iron shavings. Desiccated squirrel semen, wolf hair. Good stuff. Desiccated squirrel yeah. semen, she just said. The house holds secrets. I found mine. You ever do that? You ever spray paint stencil a pentagram on the floor and roll some bones and see what happens? I like it rough. You ever do that? Because wild stuff happens sometimes, dude. He doesn't seem to care. Like you were when I first found you. We have the word coming back that it is not the apprentice. Sam Whitwer voices the apprentice. I I like Star Wars Force Unleashed. It's really stupid and it's just very breezy and fun. And it's not uh it's not great. The first level is beautiful, but then it just kinda kinda crumbles. All right, we're in some treatsy looking tasty zone. If you want to play a good character action game, someone in the chat was talking earlier. Um, I'd say DMC three and four are good. Four is neat because it has a nice, it this motorcycle sword so mechanic is, is really own. good. Well, if you show me your secrets, the ultimate pinnacle of the genre, which I don't even consider a character action game, is Ninja Gaiden, Black which you can get for 10 bucks on the Xbox store for your Xbox One, and it runs in 4K 60 FPS on the Xbox One X. And uh, it is the most deserving game of all time of the Xbox One Elite controller. However, if that's too much for you, 
I think DMC three and four and uh, Bayonetta are straight up just uh, the most technically rewarding. I like four a lot. I mean, three's the one if you wanna if you wanna impress a, a hardcore fan of the series. You just go. You, you you talk about having played three, the special edition. That's the one you want to talk about having played. And maybe you know you should have played it before you talk about having played it. Don't lie about having played it. Anyway, those are my tips for getting into character action games. Near Automata is not a character action game. It's a near game. That's all there is to that. You know, I kind of want to get the... I have Nier Automata for PS4. I kind of want to get that Xbox version because it does 4K60. I'm sorry. I'm a jerk. I got bad eyes. I was born with bad eyes. And, uh... I need the 4K wherever I can get it. I can tell the difference. Um, well, here's me not knowing where to go. And someone in the chat says, DMC4 has solid combat, but the backtracking is kind of ugh. Yes. The thing about God darned DMC, the series, not this game, is sometimes they drop you head first into some kind of a puzzle segment. Let's see. Should I buy something? Oh, I don't. I don't have any upgrade orders. They drop you head first into some kind of a puzzle segment, where you're expected to find something to explore, and sometimes the exploring is just—it's just real I remember sad to me. Someone in the chat says uh, I should do a video or an article about the difference in frame rates. No, you, the person just says article. No, I think it would have. I think a video would better illustrate my point. Why a better frame rate is better. Um, I'm think. I, I'm thinking about it. I know that uh, in the old times, I know that there's a. Being a person who harps on frame rates is kind of like a PC game elitist sort of thing. And I gotta say, dating back to the 90s for me, uh, oh, I guess I have to pick my controller up off of the desk. Well, um, dating back to the 90s, I was having a drink of water. I remember you used to say, and me and my buddy Brent Porter have talked about this before, you used to say, I like this game. This game's real good. It, it runs really well. We wouldn't actually articulate it as having a frame rate. We'd be like, Descent runs really well on this computer. And it's like, there were there were games that suddenly, out of a... Uh, first of all, every goddamn game on the NES was uh, 60 FPS, unless it was uh, slowing down. So... And there was always slowdown when the, when the screen got crammed with enemies, like Goombas in 1-2 of uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh yeah, I powered up my combos. Oh, I guess I killed him. I was hoping he would live a little longer. What are you trying to show me? When the games, when NES games slowed down, we uh, children of the 1980s got really sad. Okay, so we were conditioned to be real sad every time a game slowed down. We didn't really notice it for a couple of years, but then there were these elementary examples. And there's a reason that, uh... Oh, crikey. What am I looking for? Um... Oh, I just go back to the Sparta statue. Like, the reason Capcom is... Has their feet held to the flames about frame rate... For the Devil May Cry games... I believe it originates, uh... With the game Super Ghouls and Ghosts for the Super oh, Nintendo. Yeah. One of the launch games of the Super Nintendo was Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And it had the most... So the reason when it was included on this Super NES Classic, I, I was offended. 
because that game performs so poorly. Oh, I have my, my new axe. Oh, good thing that... Okay, yeah, okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I like my big axe, my big daddy axe. Not so tough now. I think that Super Ghouls and Ghosts performed so poorly on the uh, Super Nintendo that I remember renting it from the supermarket and being like, wow, this is really bad. I would rather play an NES game. Like, that was literally me at age 12. I remember thinking it was it was awful. So that's where we're coming from here when uh, when we talk about frame rates is the slowdown in Super Ghouls and Ghosts turned me into a frame rate hound. So when Doom came out and I was playing it on a friend's PC and it was running at like 12 FPS and then I saw it on another friend's PC running at like sweet, sweet 60. That's when I knew that frame rate was real. And, uh, Oh man, sorry, I, I'm trying to talk about how good frame rates are. I really wish I had my my paddles for dodge. I can cancel that guy's attacks. So I guess this axe is like is this one of the other things that like Devil May Cry fans really didn't like? They didn't like how, how quickly this game introduces super slow combat mechanics. Like, I have this optional slow attack. I can't believe I've eaten this much of my health bar already. We're not even talking about playing at 120 frames per second. I play at 120 at home. I bought a specific old, uh, like, 2016 Vizio TV that has a... One of the HDMI ports will take 120 FPS at 1080p because I'm such a frame rate idiot. And I played a lot of the game Dusk on my 65 inch TV at 120 frames per second and I loved it. Frame rates are sweet. And if you think you can't tell the difference between 30 and 60, or God forbid 60 and, and 144, all you need to do is uh, go to somebody's house who has a 144 hertz monitor next to a 60 hertz monitor and just move a window around. Just move a window from the 60 hertz monitor to the uh, 144 hertz monitor. And it's like you, you will instantly understand the difference. And for me, having a high frame rate monitor is very useful for, I mean, I get headaches a lot. So like when I'm working at home, I work, uh, I like having the 144 hertz monitor. Oh man, I need to get this guy's heart. Oh my lord. Lunge at him. Uh, he's dead. So the idea of a uh, when basically if we if we buy into some ophthalmologists theories uh, about what they refer to as micro saccades uh, the tiny microscopic Dante. movements of the eye. Did I hear that right? We can sort of, I mean, we, we don't know exactly what the timing is. We don't know exactly what the refresh rate of the human retina is, et cetera, et cetera. However, I feel like when dragging a window or scrolling text, when scrolling text in uh, at 60 hertz versus scrolling text at 144 hertz, I definitely experience less of a headache. At 144. Actually, 120 feels slightly better. Oh, with the Arbiter. Okay. Can't break that door. We're not actually sure what frame rate the eye sees at, but if you see someone in the comments section of a YouTube video where somebody, you know, it on YouTube, especially gaming YouTube, game likers on YouTube love talking about frame rate. It's just a thing that they do a lot. God, this guy's so slow. You just break this guy's concentration immediately. I really, really, uh, 
do not like pressing this bumper to dodge. Oh my lord! I can't believe that I didn't get my lunge. I wanted to do my lunge. Dodge using the lunge. That's a pro technique. You missed, Gidget. I love the axe. So if you look, if you look and see somebody mention 60 FPS on Game Like or YouTube, there's always going to be comments where people are like, "The human this. eye can actually not tell the difference between 30 and 60." Those people are ridiculous. That is absolutely flagrantly wrong. The human eye absolutely can tell the difference between 30 and 60. And then you'll get into a place where people say, oh, 60 and uh, 120, nobody can tell the difference. Man, no. No. You can definitely tell the difference between 60 and 120. Definitely. So it's... uh, Yeah. There's a lot of problems. No, not everyone is trolling, man. I've had these conversations with people in real life. People who uh, wouldn't even know what trolling is. I guess they were just born doing it, some of them. Uh, this is what I like. This is what I sign up to these character action games for, is just imagery of chains connecting broken apart half pipes and ruins. Where am I? Where am I? You're in a place with a heck of an echo. There's actually nothing for that My to dream. echo off of. Welcome to the dreamscape, Dante. Um, this rules. Do I like high frame rates in movies? Oh, man. I love... Uh, I love... I love... When they try to make a movie in high frame rate. And, I mean, they never do. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I I wanted to see that Ang Lee movie, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, which was the first 120 FPS film. Uh, however, no theater near me was playing it at that speed, so I had to just end up never seeing it. I refuse to ever watch it unless it's at that sweet 120. And I know Ang Lee is making a uh, he's making a film about. Muhammad Ali that's running at 60 FPS as though that uh, as though the problem with his 120 FPS experiment was that it was it was twice as many frames as, as people wanted I see someone in the chat mentioning my uh, my brother my brother might have the same me and my brother aren't related man like come on like don't don't presume to know that me and my brother are related oh yeah I can Get do this Oh! I can pull my enemies in now, and then I can shoot them. Which is definitely the most counterintuitive sequence of things to do. Ooh! I really wish I had my Xbox One Elite controller on me. I'm so sorry to keep saying that. It's just, uh... I would be dodging like a master if I had that controller. If I had it on me. Dodging like a master. Where'd you go, bro? I'm going to yank him in and then shoot him to death while rotating the camera. Kaboom. Okay. Ah, man, so I'd rotated the camera. Did they point the camera in the correct direction? See, I played this far in 30 FPS back in the day. And I got to say, a scene like this is like where you want that 60. Well, you want that 60 in action. Because you literally have twice as many frames for your brain to interpret. It's 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 not rocket science there. Um, you literally have twice as many frames to look at and react to. What now? They've proven this with science. Oh, I have to hit this with my big old big boy axe. Big daddy. Oh my god, crack that big demon rock dragon heart wide open. 
Yeah, Ghost Little says if Peter Jackson had kept having the opportunity to make 40 F 48 FPS movies, yeah, he they he would have sold somebody on it eventually. I saw all those Hobbits at 48, and I loved it. I wouldn't watch those movies uh, otherwise. Uh, they were, I mean, not, you know, hating on Lord of the Rings or whatever. It's just, uh, I, I love that, man. Wait, okay. do we have someone in the so chat who has seen Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk at 120 FPS? Did you see it at 120 FPS? I need to know. Peter Kapow in the chat. Yes, he did. Oh, man. I envy you. I would love to have seen that film at 120. They were playing it at 120 in L.A., and I didn't want to walk, like, drive all the way down to L.A. to watch a movie I did not really want to see. Yeah, it was only it was only 123D. So I actually never liked uh, the Hobbits were only 48 FPS in 3D too. There was no 48 FPS 2D version. Oh, press the view button. That's this one. All right, buds. Get over here. Oh, crikey! Oh my god, I cannot believe I keep getting hit by these guys. I just, I played Kingdom Hearts and I had dodge on the, on the, god darn. On, on the paddle and I just, I've gotten so used to it that I cannot imagine dodging not on the paddle. I played through Dark Souls Remastered with the uh, with dodge on the paddle. I can't believe. Oh no, you, you live? Okay. Wow. I really uh, had a much tougher time with that than I thought I would. I think it's perfectly fine that The Hobbit is three movies. I think it's perfectly okay. I don't see, uh, I think it's hilarious that it's three movies. I mean, it's like, why not? I think they should remake Lord of the Rings as like 12 movies. Just do it. Make like god darn 12 movies. Okay, I suppose what I just did was an optional thing. Whoa! That was my voice acting as Dante. So, in... Dante's like, which Ninja Turtle is Dante? The answer changes. Nobody in the chat asked that question. I just, I'm asking that. Just apropos of my own idiotic whim. Which Ninja Turtle is Dante? Uh, he's usually... Sword of Michelangelo. Oh, I keep doing that. However, this time he's like a Raphael Angelo. He's a Raffi Angelo in this game. What the hell happened here? No, actually, he doesn't really like partying too much in this one. I'm all for a, a, a DMC where he becomes kind of a Donatello. I just don't think it's ever going to happen. I got your shield, punk. Oh my crikey. How do you like being shot? Look at those numbers jiggling up there like a like a t-shirt that's like trying to make somebody feel a psychedelic thing. I got your shield, idiot. Oh. I was hoping he would take a couple more hits. Yeah, he's definitely Leonardo in the first Devil May Cry. And then in in two, he's Raphael. In three, four, and five, he's Michelangelo. Yeah. Uh, in this one, he's Raphael. He's legit Raphael in this one. But again, a tiny. I think there's a tiny bit of Michelangelo. But he seems to be driven almost entirely by cool rudeness in this game. I keep doing trigger X instead of trigger Y. God darn it. 
So you get down to the to the old stuffings in this game. And it's all about there's stuff you got and then there's triggers. Just before being hit, RT plus LB. See, this is wild. RT and LB at the same time. Uh, Man, that is such a tall order on this controller ergonomically. Again, I'm taking it though. Again, after playing Dark Souls, man, with my, my beautiful bumper trigger. Okay. Little paddle flappers. I love the little paddle flappers. I cannot. That mom? That's my mom. My only memory of my own mom is her holding a green rose. I love you, Dante. Don't say that. That's gross. What? These guys again. That's I would have made the dialogue say these guys again. You got owned. You want to get hit? I can't believe these guys are all such punks. What? Yeah, I know. Demon pull is op useful for opening vulnerabilities on enemies who can block. What do you think I've been doing, chump? Chump weed? I'm going to open up an... Oh, sorry. I was going to open up a vulnerability on you. Is that all right? With my demon cyclone? Do you like my cyclone, bro? Do you like my cyclone, bro? So you've got the, uh, oh, I'm just going to hit you with that. That's all right. Get over here. Got my Cyclone. Do you like this? That's a C-rank combo at best. Is mom going to come out of the picture and have a good old fight? Whoa. I'm going to walk over slowly. This is a, you ever do this in a game where you, uh, you behave cinematically because you expect there to just be another cutscene when you walk over to a place. So it's like Dante's tired from his fight, so he just struts over. Look at that. Seamless. Seamless. What was my Goatee 2018? Did you not watch my Goatee 2018 video? <laughs> Lore appropriate walking. LAW, is that what it's called? Oh man, I got my demon scythe. Oh, Cyrus. Okay, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Powered with devil energy. Granting bonus damage and fully charged. I like this arcade game uh, looking UI there on the side. Oh, LT. Yeah, I know. Okay, so the way this DMC works is you have your three weapons. Oh, okay. Yeah, it became fully charged. Crikey, I know. So one trigger does your this weapon, and then one trigger does this weapon, and then no triggers does this weapon. So it's all about these using multiple weapons all at once, having a tasty time. I believe this fight is set up to just make me feel like I'm tough. I can do, I can get over here. I'm going to pull you over here, and then I'm going to hit you with this. So it's all just this, uh, this stick shiftliness. Of can you uh, can you manage having to use these three weapons just holding back and forth? It is similar to the Heavenly Sword setup, except 60 FPS. We're going back past this statue once again. I don't have any upgrade orbs, so heck it. All right, we're going to get away from where we are right now and over to there. If I fall, do I die? So, yeah, I love... Uh oh, I have to... Yeah. See the thing you can interact with? Interact with it the way you can interact with it. Is what I like to call what some game designers refer to as lock and key level design. Slice through blue vines with Osiris. Sounds like like the weirdest like Twizzlers commercial. 
blue vines instead of red vines. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that knowing what I know about this man, Dante, this man with his beautiful haircut, that he, uh, just the amount of balloon animal whipping that I just performed with that, that flailing scythe, I don't think he would have declared that cool. Any way other than sarcastically. I think maybe if I'd nailed it and I'd hit it just right and I'd done it like appropriately, it would have worked. When do I think we can expect Final Fantasy VII Remake on PS5? I think that's a trick question. Because I think we're going to get it on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 because... As Mark Cerny announced with the PlayStation 4, um, when he was announced as the system architect, they, they did it on this x86 architecture. It's basically a PC. I believe PlayStation 5 is just going to be the Xbox One X of the PlayStation 4 in that it is uh, all games are going to be forward compatible, and I think they're just going to release it. They're going to do this full wild rebrand. It's just going to say PlayStation on the spine. I mean, this is what I would do if I were them. I would just bring them all under the umbrella. So I think you're going to have it on PlayStation 4, but then it's going to run way better on the PlayStation 5. And yes, I do think it's going to happen around the time of the PlayStation 5. Would not be surprised to see some of it at, uh, at E3. Would not be surprised. But obviously they won't mention the PlayStation 5 until next year, I imagine. Next year's E3, I mean, next year's E3, Sony will have something about the uh, PlayStation 5. Wahoo! Yippee! Yeah, this is just some serious yay button action where it's just, I'm having a good time. So, I've been playing Final Fantasy XV recently, and I like it a lot. And that's another game where I have my dodge mapped to a little paddle on the back of the controller. Uh, and I mean I like it uh, I, I, I'm really enjoying it and I know people in my comments have told me to not play it nice. or that it sucks or whatever you can't change my mind I'm loving it I'm hanging out with the guys I'm about two thirds of the way through the game I've played recently one of the parts that people say sucks oh you just got launched you just got done dirty so, having played a bunch of Final Fantasy XV and having played all of Kingdom Hearts, I played Kingdom Hearts 3 like twice now. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Sure. So, having played all of Kingdom Hearts like two times, like a big old Jack Weasel, I, uh. Uh. I'm, I'm 100 million percent confident that, yes, they can make this Final Fantasy remake. It's not impossible. It's not ridiculous. Oh, I have another another weapon to worry about now. Not to worry about, to enjoy. I have another weapon to enjoy now. I cannot wait to go home and plug in my Xbox One Elite controller and play this uh, on my TV. Uh, oh! Demons bleed black blood. So yeah, was was Final Fantasy uh, 15 not fully realized? As Liquid Sword and Chad is saying here, uh, absolutely not. No. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Wrong one. I pressed the I pressed the wrong one. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Man, it's punishing my health for this. Now you got to switch to the right trigger for this, and then somehow he manipulates his feet to be directly under it, which to me feels unearned because this is a game about super technical action. You know what game got ripped apart in its day that I bet people would love now because I loved it back then? Ninja Blade by From Software. It was derided as like a bad Ninja Gaiden game, but it was in fact just a chill what sweet game. Chill sweet game. So I'm thinking this Final Fantasy VII remake is gonna be good. And I saw some people in a, again, 
you sh I, I, I try to not venture into game like or YouTube where it's just a guy with a beard with a huge collection of games behind him yelling really loudly of stuff that's probably wrong about games that aren't even out yet or games that are out and they haven't played and don't want to play. However, I saw a video where a guy was talking about how the Final Fantasy VII Remake is like, he said it was doomed. He said it was doomed. Unless they uh, gave it turn-based combat. And I was like, are you are you wilding out? Like, what is wrong with you? Kingdom Hearts combat is good. I don't care where you're from. I grew up playing God Darn Fun. I'm, I'm God Darn 40 years old, okay? I played Kingdom Hearts, or not Kingdom Hearts, I played the original Final Fantasy on the Nintendo, okay? I'm telling you, I don't care if they put God Darn Kingdom Hearts' combat straight up into... I'm gonna die to these chump weasels. I got a green orb, it immediately restores some of my health, that's good. Were they waiting for me to get to a critical status before they gave me one of those? So, I believe now I'm a... Uh, so I can actually swing off of these guys, or not, well, I guess that's not a swing off of them. Ah, heck. God, the camera is a... Uh, I gotta say, I could use one of those classic authored camera angles that the series is famous for. This guy is rejecting my shield grab. I mean, I should just be shooting them. I want to manage my weapons better. I'm gonna jump and hit you with this. No, that's not gonna work. Oh my god, I plinked him with one shot. So yeah, if they put Kingdom Hearts' combat into Final Fantasy VII Remake and call it a day and I control Cloud and then I have two buddies who I can, like, configure with, like, I give them abilities or tweak their accessories or whatever. Uh, buddy, sign me up. I don't care. You know? Sign me up. Just sign me up. Got people in the chat telling me devil grab to pull away the shield, then shoot to kill. Too bad the chat is delayed by about 45 seconds. I, uh, I definitely, uh, I remember. would have, uh, figured that out. I remember my mother. I remember my mother. Her name was I'll tell you about my mother. She gave this to me. Lucas Q575 says Kingdom Hearts 2's combat designers working on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Remember. Yes, that is what I have heard as well. And I'm like, just give it to me. Sign me up. We were Kingdom Hearts 2 combat's sweet. Kingdom Hearts 3 combat's not as good, no the but we at the same it. time, I think it's uh, it's chill. The demons found us. Now look at all that green and orange. And they broke in. I saw, I him. saw him. The Kingpin, is that Vincent D'Onofrio? From Marvel's Netflix's Daredevil? Oh my god. Heart eater? Have you ever she eaten somebody's life, heart? We could it's weird. Someone has popped in the chat to ask, what's the first home console you played on? Me? I played Pong, because I'm an idiot. Pong on the Pong console. And Atari 2600. It is safely amongst that is the most cliche thing for someone to say. memories to protect us. The most cliche That's thing for a guy my age to say is, yeah, I played Pong. Until now. Oh, well, right? Yeah, and then uh, the first game console I wanted was the Nintendo. And I had to convince my mom that it was worth having. She's like, what do you want the Nintendo for? You got all those Atari tapes. And I'm like, and me and my brother, the, the sentence that I spoke to my mom was, Mom... Nintendo is the real video games. And it was like, that, that sentence sticks with me today as, what are we saying? Destroy? Okay. It sticks with me today as, you know, that's, that's exactly it. Nintendo is the real, was the real video games. And I'll always have that brand loyalty to Nintendo. Because it was the real video games. Oh, can you just give me this? You gotta remember which which trigger and which button. You got trigger trigger X. 
You got right trigger Y, uh, left trigger X. I'm getting out of here. Oh yeah, that's what. That's what. No, it says stop. So who's giving me those uh, those scale form UI 3D pop up text tutorial tippers? Is that the girl lady with the hoodie? Hoodie girl. Is she giving me those? Keep going, he says. I'm gonna skateboard home on a pizza. Oh, he just finally let that Michelangelo out. Did you hear that? When he said he was gonna skateboard home on a pizza. You're my brother. Yo, you believe it now? Your twin brother. And I've been looking for you for a if long. You're my twin time. brother. Why do you have gray hair? Why do you have such gamer pleasing these to us. hair color? And I don't. I think she knew that this moment would come. The and gamers don't like me. Because I don't look like you. And our father, Sparta, vanished forever. Can you imagine liking Dante's hair in the first three Devil May Cry games? I, I hate back. to keep harping on this, but can you imagine liking that? That was awful. It was a bad looking One hair. More. Where we come from, what happened to us. And above all, I want to know who's responsible for all this. Yeah, I want to know who's responsible as well. She's like, we got him. We got him. Wait, give me that D. And what else do we got? M? No. Double D. DX2. Completion, 15, 23%. That's just how I like it. The Michael Jordan number. DDC. Dogs die criminally. Dragon. That's what that stands for, DDCD. The old DDCD. I think that might be all we have time for today. To be perfectly honest, I would like to just keep playing this game. But to be more honest, I would also love it if I, uh, you know, was just gripping my sweet Elite controller. I should have brought my Elite controller. I'm sorry. Maybe we'll play some more of this game later. Uh, before I go, I just want to ask... Who had a good time? <laughs> Somebody tell me you had a good time or I'm going to cry. Because I don't know what else to do. If nobody had a good time, then I'm just sad. Nobody? Oh, wait. Some people did. Okay. We got a couple of them coming in. A couple of them coming in. All right. That's good. That's good. Good time. Everybody had a good time. Remember... Remember, if it looks like a bingo and it sounds like a bingo, peer into your rear view mirror. Deep in the distance, behind yonder dumpster, do you spy a daddy? If so, that was daddy's bingo. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, I'm leaving.